what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel here with my buddy Abert today as you can see we're packing up the kayaks we're heading to the Kings River once again but we're actually since I've got him with me we're gonna kind of shuttle ourselves he doesn't have a vehicle that'll tote the axe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the axe down to the bridge we're gonna stash him by the bridge run my truck down to the marble access then back to the X in his car and that's how we're gonna do it but the main point about today's episode is to actually test out this little girl right here this is a portable barbecue grill but I bought it just for like river trips I'm calling it my kayak grill my buddy Abert actually has one just like it and I was actually pretty intrigued by it so I got me one we're just gonna take it out make sure it's the same quality all that good stuff and hopefully you know be able to figure out a few tips and tricks as far as cooking something better than just like burgers and brats out on the river today it is just brats but hopefully in the future we'll be able to get more intricate with that but let's get everything else packed up let's get out on the water guys all right guys made it out on the water not really that difficult we put in right here by a bridge, and we're actually gonna hang out here for a minute. I'm gonna fish it before we start moving down. But all in all, it's looked like it's gonna be an all right day. It is gonna get a little windy. Uh, but as far as the water flow goes, it doesn't look like it's flowing too, too much. So that might be a good thing for us. Just start off pretty standard with some TRD action. We go with some Drew's Craw first. Water is a little murky, so we may change over to something with some chartreuse in it, or even a PB and J. Funny though, the wind's actually pushing us upstream. What is she, what is she doing? She don't know what she's doing. So she'll probably walk around and try to figure it out for a minute. Abert brought his dog with him, so this ought to be good. Is that her first time on the river, Abert? First time any of that. Oh, okay. She haven't even been on the lake yet. Well, we're breaking her in today. Yep. Breaking her in today. Out. Well, that's why we got a life jacket on her. Yeah. She floating all right? Yeah. Yeah. She's getting it, ain't she? Yeah. She just haven't went in yet. Almost. She almost slipped off enough, but I grabbed her fast enough. But she got her feet pa uh, pawed wet. Oh. Uh. But nothing biggie. I'm sure we're going to have to get wet at some point. Oh, yes, you will. Um, I'm speak. talking about we. Oh. We are going to have to probably get wet. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but yes, you will. Got yeah. one. Oh, did he come off? No, still got him. On the crankbait. On the garbage reel. Come on. Yeah. That's why I brought these damn pliers today. I had a feeling it was going to be one of those crankbait bites. Nope. First river smallmouth of the day. Man, look how muddy he is. He's got mud on his top fins and everything. Old mud dog. Here we go. Go. Already an accomplishment. One, it's nice to catch fish on a new crankbait that you've never caught fish on before. And two, on the garbage rod. Come on. It's a Abu Garcia, it's a Mike Iaconelli rod that I found in the dumpster over by the cabin. Most of it's been broken off, but I mean, it was, it was 
a short rod to begin with. It's, it was supposed to be a five. Ugh. Supposed to be a five six medium. I wasn't paying attention. It's supposed to be a five six medium, but now I think it's more like a four three four six. And I mean, it's perfect length for the river. All right, guys. So real quick, just to show you what we're working with here. Like I said, this one in particular is unbranded. I got it from a rewards uh, system that I'm a part of. I, like I said, I, I can't exactly remember. There's a couple different brands make it. Just like a couple of them are different. This one, for instance, has this. It's you know like a little built-in cooler that you can use as well. Uh, Aberts did not have that, but th that's just where I throw the fire starter and the tongs. Zip that back up. It's also got a little pocket up here at front that doesn't actually close, so I don't know if you'd actually want to put anything in there. And then opens up. This is your main base right here. It's got a little air vent on the side. This is like their version of either tongs or just a way to put the grate on and off. You've got your legs right here. And then in the very bottom here we've got the two grates, the lower and the, the upper. But we're gonna put this thing together guys, get some brats going, and ultimately just kinda, kinda see how she fares See how she stands up, see how well she cleans up, packs out, all that good stuff. So, I can tell you right now, the overall weight, I don't even know. I've got my scale after we get done cleaning. Uh, we'll pack it back up and I'll throw it on the scale and tell you how much it weighs. My God, can't beat that with a stick. No, sir. Mm.
Whew, all right guys, we made it back to the cabin obviously. So today, fishing wise, not that productive. I'm not exactly sure why. The fish we did caught mud all over the belly, so you can tell that they've been tucked to the bottom in that high water. But I mean, they were clearly getting active, you know, feeding again since the water was starting to drop. But I mean, we caught a few and we did get that one good one. So all in all, not a bad day. Uh, we did put the grill on a scale case and all two and three quarter pounds so you cannot beat that i honestly like that little grill like i said the legs are aluminum so they don't really conduct heat so you can actually perch that thing on your kayak while you're floating you know if you've got a calm enough stretch you can perch that thing right there on your kayak cook while you float down the river but once again boys and girls that is where i'm gonna leave it if you haven't already smash that subscribe button still trying to grow that channel so help me out with that guys and until next time stay safe stay outdoors